What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Frace, and we're back at it again. It's a beautiful brand new week, and today I have my submission for the next round of the storytelling show. So, basically, my name is Yao, um, and I go by the Manfred the Phrase Assembler, and I'm from Accra, Ghana. So, my story is entitled The Encounter with Mr. Kudalo. So here goes. I'm scared of rats, I must confess. But me living in a third world country with all the dirt and filth around, I'm always sure I'm going to encounter one definitely. And that always scares the hell out of me when I have to think of it. When I have to think of it. Kenke is a staple food that I have enjoyed for a very long time. And because I can get it anytime, anywhere, I have always relied on it when I was uncertain of what to eat during the day or even in the evenings. It was around 7.30 p.m. on this fateful Sunday evening when I decided to step out and look for some good old kenke to buy, which would sustain me through the night. I normally hate wearing shirt, t-shirts in the evenings. I usually prefer to enjoy the breeze and intimidate random people with my one belly pack. One belly pack, basically. I live on the other side of town, where if there was a disaster on the road, it would be better to stay at home and call in sick than plow through the traffic that you could stay in for two to three hours just to get to the location that gives you a daily income. On this fateful day, I left home and head towards where I knew I would get that soft, mushy, hot, full of flavor, gar kinky, to buy with red, full of taste, just enough salt, and crispy fish that would make a cut of filet mignon taste like tolo beef. Normally, the kenke is served with a black sauce that has an earthy, smoky, fishy flavor to it which goes amazingly well with the kinky. And if it's done right, I tell you, you would always come back for more each and every day. The kinky cellar is about five, a five minute walk away from where I live. But the only hindrance is that I would have to cross the main Cape Coast road in order to get to her side. It's a busy road and you would have to be careful to follow that look left, look right, look left, look right technique before you cross the road or you might be run over by an oncoming vehicle. I performed that rit ritual and crossed the first road on my side and was able to safely get to the middle portion that divides those heading to Accra from those heading to Cape Coast. It was during my quest to move from the middle portion of the road when I met Mr. Kudalo. That thick, buff gray, long-tailed, long-whiskered, bear, and white-tipped mammal just stared at me when I was about to cross from the middle lane to the other side. The animal headed straight in my direction as if it had been sent to deliver an important message from whoever, but in fact, it was running away from whatever was after him. I screamed, I jumped, I shouted, Damn, son, who sent you? As if I knew whether the rat was a male or female, I ran as fast as I could to the other side of the road without even checking to see if there was an oncoming vehicle. I stopped and gasped for air and told myself, thank God. That was close. I thought to myself, what would I have done if this rat would have squared up with me and prevented me from crossing the road? How could I have been able to overcome this hurdle? Do I communicate in rat language or some other language? Would I have been able to muster courage to kill him? <coughs> All these thoughts run through my mind when I was sitting at the dining table enjoying my kenke. It, it was an exciting but very scary experience that I would never wish on anyone. I was able to escape from the fangs of Mr. Kudalo, and I'm still looking out for that rap program. 
that would help toughen me up so that I would be able to adequately prepare when I meet and an encounter, when I meet or encounter another rat henceforth. So that's the story of Mr. Kudalo. Have a wonderful day, good people. Have an amazing weekend. Stay blessed. 2021, the phrase assembler. Good evening from Ghana. It's all love.